to go into God's Word. Amen. Because the Word of God is important. Amen. And we want to thank and praise Him. Amen. For His goodness, His grace, and His mercy that He has bestowed upon us this day. Amen. God has sustained us. He has kept us. He has blessed us. And for that, we are thankful. Amen. Let us go into prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you tonight for your goodness, your grace, and your mercy. We thank you for watching over us as throughout this day you kept us, you protected us, you, you supplied our every need. Amen. You sustained us, O oh God. Amen. And Father, we thank you and we praise you now. We ask, O oh God, that your word will go forth with power. We ask, O oh God, that you will give us understanding. Open up your word to us, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, so we can have a closer walk with you. These blessings we ask in Jesus' name. Jesus, yeah. Amen. 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 If you don't mind, can we give God a praise? Amen. 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 But God says when there's two or three are gathered yes. together, he's a God in the midst. Amen. Amen. I was reading in the book of 1 Corinthians mm -hmm. uh, earlier last week. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Do I have to be still? No, you don't. Uh, chapter 2. And there was something in there that we all probably have read. We've quoted the scripture, and I quoted the scripture. But it did something to my spirit after I read it and after I meditated on what I read. And I think what we would do, we would use it as our focus verse. Amen. Amen. And as I, as I thought on it, I come to value what God has done, and I've come to value even the more of what God has done and what he is, has given us. I've come to value even the more what God has done and what he has given us. By the show of hands, how many have read the Word of God and every time you go back, you get something different? Yes. God, he, uh, what's He do? He opens up your mind to different things. <laughs> Amen. He opens up our understanding to, to things even the more. And what I think we will do, let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter number 2. You got your Bibles? Yes. Did you get my prayer line? Uh, no. I was thinking. No. Sorry. Somebody gets First Corinthians chapter two. What verse? Uh, verse number sixteen. And I, like I said, I, I'm sure we all have read this verse of scripture. So chapter, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 16. Who has that? Did you say 16 or 15? Chapter 2, verse 16. Does everybody have it? That's what I want to do. Does everybody have it? Yes. Have it. Does everybody have it? Amen. Yes, we have it. Let us all read. Oh, everybody don't have it. Okay.
the Spirit of God gives me the mind of Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because all that God is is in me. Mm -hmm. Is in you. Mm -hmm. Therefore, if you have his spirit, yes. then you have the mind of Christ. Uh -huh. Amen. Therefore, we should never be weak-minded. Wow. Oh, yeah. Let me put the mic up. Mm -hmm. We should never be weak-minded. We should never allow the devil to attack our minds right. Right. where he has control over our lives. That's right. Hallelujah. Because we have the spirit of God on the inside uh -huh. and we have the mind of Christ. That's right. Oh, God. Let's, let's go to Acts. Very familiar passage of Scripture. Okay. I'm just going to ask that you guys. As I stated, having the mind of Christ, amen, positions us in the, in the, and, and positions us, and places us in the power and the authority, it gives us power and authority. Acts 1 and 8. What's it say? Yeesh. Acts 1 and 8. Familiar passage. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost shall come upon you. And he shall be with you unto the world of Jerusalem and in all of Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. Thank you. You're welcome. With the Spirit of God on the inside, it gives us power. We shall receive mm -hmm. power. Amen. Yes. <laughs> After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon us. And what does it say? And we shall be what? Witnesses uh -huh. unto, me both. unto him, both in where? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And in all the earth. Uh-huh. And in other most parts of the earth. So the power of God that we have on the inside because we have the mind of Christ, gives us the ability to do what God wants us to do, and it gives us the ability to endure whatever we have to go through. Wow. Thank Think about you. that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. the, I, I wanted to, as I was reading this, I wanted to use for a subject a controlled mind. Wow. That's what the subject I wanted wow. to use. Nice. A controlled mind. But then I kept focusing on the mind of Christ. But then I came to the conclusion in my mind and in my spirit that as long as I have the mind of Christ, I have a controlled mind. Okay. Because my mind is not focused on the natural, mm -hmm. but it's focused on the spiritual. I have elevated my thinking. And it's really not my thinking, it's God's thinking. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because what? The Bible says we are no longer our own. Mm -hmm. What? We have been oh, oh, come on, talk to me. Talk to me. We have been bought with a price. Hallelujah. Therefore, if I'm in Christ, it's no longer me. But it's Christ that liveth in me. Amen. It's quiet in here. Mm -hmm. yes. you, you have a question or you just wait? Um, okay. Amen. So, Romans 1 and 8 says what? We shall receive power. Mm -hmm. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon us. So, having the mind of Christ, as I stated earlier, positions us with power and authority. Hallelujah. So, the power comes when we receive the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. How many of you like, how many have the Holy Ghost? Hallelujah. How many are thankful Hallelujah. for the Holy Ghost? Hallelujah. How many are walking in the power of the Hallelujah. Holy Ghost? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. 
So, when we talk about having the mind of Christ and how it positions us, uh, it also tells us that we are it, we are united with Christ. Amen. Because we are in Him. Mm. If I have the mind of Christ, I am united with Christ. Okay, amen. And I am in Christ. Okay. Let's go to Ephesians. Okay. Chapter 1. Ephesians 1 and 1. No, Ephesians 1 and 3. Blessed be the God and Father. Mm -hmm. Are we there? Yes. Yes. Amen. yes. I started it to see if you guys would come and join me with me. Okay. Um. <laughs> What's it say? Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, and who has blessed us all spiritually in heavenly places in Christ. Now, notice what it, 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 it is in this verse of Scripture that shows us two things. It shows us our position, mm -hmm. and it shows us what we have because of our position. Okay. Mm -hmm. Notice it says, we are where? In mm -hmm. Christ. Okay. So what, but what, and what is it saying that we have? Spiritual position. All oh, spiritual blessings. Oh, yes. okay. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. Mm. Now, the New Living Translation says it this way: All praises to God. Mm -hmm. In other words, let me let me just let me take a pause for the cause. In other words. When we understand who we are, mm. when we understand whose we are, yes, yes. and when we understand what we have in Christ, right. then we owe God nothing but praise. Hallelujah. Because, because that tells me that I am special to God. Yeah. And he has placed me in something in me, and he has given something to me. Mm. Amen. Yes. So that I can be his representative yes. in the earth realm, and that I can, and so that I can go through whatever I have to go through while I'm down here on earth. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So, so all of us, oh God, praise. Yes, we do. Thank you, Lord. All of us. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you. We owe him praise because of who we are, yes. whose we are, right. and where we are. Yes. Yes. Who are we? Yes. We sons and daughters of Christ. Amen. Where are we? We are in Christ Jesus. Mm. And so we owe him praise. So Praise be to the God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms because we are what? Okay. United together with Christ. Let me mm -hmm. Because we're united with Christ. Yes. Yes. Nothing that there is nothing that heaven has, everything that has, heaven has to offer, it's right there for us. Mm -hmm. You need peace? Hey. It's there. Thank you, Lord. You need joy? Hey, thank you, Lord. It's there. <laughs> Whatever you need, all the spiritual blessings that God has is right there for those of us that are in Christ. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, let's look at something else. 
Let's go to Matthew 18 and 18. Let's look at this power. We read Acts 1 and 8. Let's go to Matthew 18 and 18. Because we are in Christ, because we have the mind of Christ, because we have the Spirit of God down on the inside of us, we have power and we have authority. Now, what does Matthew 18 and 18 say? Verily I say unto you, whatsoever you shall bind on the earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever shall be on earth. Look at the power that you have. Look at what the Spirit of God has given you. What so ever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. You're looking to be like Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> He's talking about, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to, to, to get you to see who you are. Right, amen. Where you are and what you have. I was going to use, as I stated earlier, I was going to use the subject, a controlled mind. And I was going to use that subject because the world is full of turmoil. Mm -hmm. There's trouble in our homes, mm -hmm. trouble on our jobs, trouble everywhere we go. Yes, it is. That's why the Bible says, what, in the last days, Perilous yes. times yes. shall come. And because of what's going on in our lives and in the world, we, there is a tendency to allow what we're going through to distract us mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and make us lose our focus on God. Yes. But when we understand that we have the mind of Christ, then we understand that no matter what goes on around us, no matter what the devil tries to put in our minds, we have a controlled mind. Amen. I'm not going to let what's going on around me affect the way I think. And I'm not going to let allow what's going on around me affect my relationship with God. Amen. It's quiet in here. Yes, Somebody say amen. 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 No, because I have the mind of Christ. Therefore, if I have the mind of Christ, my mind is controlled by the Spirit. Therefore, I have peace no matter what I have to go. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. if, 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 if my children are acting up, I got peace. If it's, if it's acting up on my job, I got peace. Uh -huh. Because what the Bible says, I will keep you in perfect peace. Ooh, yes, sir. Whose mind Stay. is stayed on me. Hey. Now, now that I have the mind of Christ, it's easy for me to keep my mind on Christ. Uh -huh. Because I allow God mind to be connected with my God's uh -huh. spirit, to be connected with my spirit. Mm -hmm. Therefore, when, he, when I'm connected to God, then he's going to give me everything I need. Yes, yes. He's going to download from heaven down here on earth to my mind, Amen. and then I am able to do the will of God. Oh, mm -hmm. I like that term, download. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because when I read the word of God, my mind is like a computer. Therefore, it, it's downloading in my mind what the Word of God is saying. The Word of God, when I read it, and it's downloading in my spirit. Yes. No weapon hey. 
formed against me shall be able to prosper. That's downloading from in my mind down into my spirit. Amen. So that when I see the enemy trying to form a weapon against me, I know it's going to form, but I know it's not going to prosper. Absolutely. When I read the Word of God, and I, the Word of God says, I, uh, 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 greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Uh -huh. That has been downloaded from heaven down into my mind, uh -huh. and it impacts and is downloaded in my spirit. So that when the when the when the opportunity to comes to to for the word to rise up within me to carry me through, I know that it's there because God has downloaded it into my spirit. Hallelujah. Yes. Do you know that you have words in you, a word in you, words in you from the word of God? I'm going to put it this way. Do you know that you have power in you that has not been used yet? Mm -hmm. Nice. Yes. I can believe you. Yeah. It has not been used because you have not felt faced that situation. Wow. Yeah. But the power is there. So that no matter what situation I have to face, I know that if I depend on the Holy Ghost and the power of God, I know that I'm able to go through. Yes, yes. It's, it's easy for us. We talk about it in Sunday school. Men. It's easy for us to say what we will do and what we won't do. It's easy to say that until you're faced with it. Yeah. Then the question is, how are you going to react? Right, right. Mm -hmm. Ooh. <laughs> now, that shit that, that came, something came to you. Now, how are we going to react uh -huh. is based on the mind that we have. Let's go to Romans. Yes. Let's go to Romans. <laughs> okay. Get in that verse number one. What does it say? Sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who what? Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For they that are after the flesh, what? Do mind the things of the flesh. Uh -huh. But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. Uh -huh. Here we go, verse 6. For to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritual is life. Stop right there just for a moment. Remember, I said it all depends on how or what mind that we're, we're, we're moving in. If I move in the spiritual mind, in the mind of the spirit or the spiritual realm, then I'm going to be pleasing to God. But sometimes, and I'm going to 
I'll say this like this. Sometimes there is a tendency to get into the carnality. I'm sorry. Oh, that's on, so I can't do that. <laughs> Let me put it this way. Let me ask the question. 24-7, uh, spiritually minded people, raise your hand. 24-7. 24-7. Don't be ashamed. 24-7 what? Spiritually minded people, raise your hand. 24-7? Yeah. Yes. No. 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 So I think that's why I'm asking why someone and everyone looks so No. There is a there's sometimes we, we 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 allow ourselves, even though we have the spirit of God, sometimes we slip into that carnality. We don't want to tell on ourselves, do we? There are times, amen, that I'm not always walking in the amen. spirit. Amen. I'm not always thinking spiritual things. Amen. Right. Amen. But notice what it says. For to be calm, but but for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. Yes. We, we are spiritually minded people. We it is our desire to please God 24-7. That's our life. That's our desire to please God. But there are times yes. where we slip. Amen. Amen. There are times when their thoughts comes into our minds that we should not think. Sometimes we look at people or talk to people in a way that we should not talk to yes, people. Yes, yes. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Help me, Jesus. But, somebody say, thank God for the Spirit. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Because the Spirit has a way of showing you yourself. Amen. Yeah. And then once it shows you yourself, you 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 can kind of get ashamed on the way you acted, and you ask God to forgive you, yes. and then you get back into that spiritual mindedness that we should have never that we should have never left. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. But notice verse nothing says that, so then they that are after the flesh, what? And not please God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. ah, but here we come. Here we are. Verse number nine. Uh -huh. What's it say? But ye are not the flesh, but the spirit. What's it say? But, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of God dwell in you, now. If any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of you. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also break in your mortal bodies by the spirit that dwell in you. Therefore, brothers, you are delivered not to the flesh to live after the flesh. For ye have, for ye, if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. Uh -huh. But if ye through the Spirit uh -huh. do what? Mortify. Uh huh. Keep going. Deeds of the flesh. Uh huh. Deeds of the flesh. Of the body. Shall ye shall live. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are what? They are the sons of God. Therefore, it is, it, it is imperative for us, it's important to us, it is significant for us that, I think it was who, that, that, we, that if we do slip and fall, right. oh. the songwriters say we fall down, but 
Lord Jesus, we yes, get back up. Yes, we do. Amen. Because if I slip and fall, I don't want to stay down there. I want to get back up. Amen. And get back in line to what God, into the will of God. Yes. And to the, to the purpose of God. Yes. Now let's get back to here. Something I wanted to bring out also. The question, the question is asked, what does having the mind of Christ do? What does it do? I wonder, let's, yes, thank you, Lord, let's do that. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Holy Ghost. If I went around the room and asked the question, having the mind of Christ, what does it do for you? It give you power okay. and a closer walk with God. Okay. Come on, let your light shine. Let me ask this first. How many have the mind of Christ? So, if I went around the room and asked the question, what does the mind of Christ do for you? What would your answer be? It gives me a desire to do things that please you. Okay. Right. I'm just asking question. Just, just, just trying to open it. Just give me peace. Okay, peace. Be because you must uh, the reason why I ask this question, because everybody raised their hands and said that they have the mind of Christ. So if you raise your hand and say you have the mind of Christ, what does that do for you? And also keep you on track. Okay, keep you on track. Who else? You get your peace. Um, I forgot. <laughs> I see you. I, I mean, it's a, it's a constant. It's a perpetual thing. It's a constant thing. Even in the midst of challenges and things that you go through, this thing, it's a keeper. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm always reminded of things, and we, like you said, we ain't always in that mindset, but when things come up, it, that's when really, that's when I most need them, when I'm challenged. Mm -hmm. And so uh, it's a constant reminder, constant, everything that I do, I'm reminded, I, it's, a, it's, a, it's a conviction, like, you know, I, I, can't, I can't go without it. It seems like when, he, when I'm in a situation, and I've been there, believe me, and it just seems like it just the Lord just kicks in. Say, sir, uh, -uh. you know, sometimes we tell you, nah, bro, that ain't right. That's Amen. when I'm most appreciated. Amen. When I know I done messed up, because we always the, the flesh is always gonna be, and it always gets you in situations. But it's it's that spirit of God that gets you back on track. And so for me, I have to have it. If I didn't, I don't know. I'd be probably be, boy, you ain't just. Well, I'm just being real. I, I gotta be real like that because that's just the temperament that I have. I don't I don't like the you know stuff happens. Mm -hmm. And the enemy always knows and they're always trying to cross you. So yes, I don't mean know. to go on and on, but I'm just telling you about some real experience stuff, y'all. This well, is real. You got to have him. Well that's why I And it's that. a thin line right. that you walk every day. So that's why. That's that's why we, that's why we use that's why I believe God wanted us to use First Corinthians chapter two verse sixteen as the focus the focus verse because the latter part part of that verse just it really like I said it helped me to really value even more so what God has done and what He has given and when I think about that God has given me the mind of Christ uh -huh. mm. that's the hope mm. it really is because what he has done is he has changed the way that I used to think. Amen. Gave me the mind of his son. Yes. And he has transformed my thinking. Thank you, Lord. He has transformed our thinking. Because why? Now that I have the mind of Christ, I no longer think the way that I used to think. Yeah. I think on, oh, there we go. I think on heavenly things. Yes. Well, how's that treat you, though? Think on these things. Because you've been risen with 
Right. Yeah, it's pineapple. That's Colossians. I think I got that. But now that I, we have the mind of Christ, we don't think the way that we used to think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. I don't think about the, my enemy the way that I used right. to. But the Bible says what? Pray for those that despitefully use you. Wow. Huh? Where? Yes. Colossians. You got it? Yeah. Read it for me. Yeah. Colossians 3. Colossians 3 and 1 and 2. 1 and 2. Uh, it says, If then you be risen with Christ, uh -huh. seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affections there we go. on things above, above. and mm -hmm. not on. That's it. That's the key. My mind, my former mind, set my affections on things of this world. Mm -hmm. uh, I gotta go there. But now that I have the mind of Christ, I'm setting my affections on things above. The power of God, the peace of God, the love of God, Amen. the compassion of God. All the attributes of God is where my mind is now. Everything that the word of God tells me, all the promises of God, that is where my mind is now. Yes. Because why? We know that at the end, Jesus is coming. That's the bottom line. That's why we have to keep the mind of Christ and allow his spirit to work in us. Because read that one more time. The, the same one? Yes. Uh, okay. Can you read it? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Colossians uh, 3, 1 and 2. If ye then be risen with Christ, Seek those things which are above where Christ sits on the right hand of God. Set your affections on things above and not on the things of earth. Amen. So I went around the room and I asked, what does the mind of Christ do for you? And so, yes. Amen. 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 Yes, it does. Because if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Amen. All things are passed away. All things become new. Mm -hmm. So not only does the not only does having the mind of Christ position us in a place of power and authority, but having the mind of Christ also humbles us to the will of God. Ooh. Ooh, I think I need to say that again. The mind of Christ humbles us to the will and purpose of God. Amen. Let's go to Matthew. And I'm going to conclude. Matthew chapter 4, 26, verse 39. Mm -hmm. Yes. What's it say? 39. 39, you said? 26 and 39. Matthew. 36. And when he went a little further and uh -huh. fell on his face uh -huh. and prayed, uh -huh. saying, Oh, my father, if it be possible, let this come pass on me. Nevertheless, as I will, but as I will. And he came unto That's it. His, oh, that was it? Yeah. Okay. Father, if it be possible, if it be possible, let this cup pass for me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. Mm -hmm. Having the mind of Christ. Amen. All, all, every time, all of our situations are not going to be a flowery thing. We're going to have some struggles. We're going to have difficult times. We're going to have to walk alone. 
Yes. We may even have to cry. Mm -hmm. But still, if we are in the vein or in the will of God, the mind of Christ tells us, Father, if it be possible, let it pass. Mm -hmm. But nevertheless, Amen. not what I want, but what you want. Because sometimes, and I'm going to say this, sometimes we put too much, we give the devil too much credit. So much. Sometimes it's God, it's God that's doing some things in us. That's trying to show us ourselves. Or trying to bring us to another level in him. Mm. One more scripture here. Philippians chapter number two. You said two? Yes, two and five. Or four and four. Beginning in verse number five. Yes. If we have the mind of Christ, what the mind of Christ, what the mind of Christ tells us, if that's right. Let this mind be in you. You there? Mm -hmm. oh, nice. First in Philippians chapter two, verse five. Mm -hmm. Let this mind be in you. Are we there? Yes. Amen. Who what? Who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Well, what did he do? Uh huh. Uh huh. And being what? He did what? And became. Verse nine. Keep going. All the things in heaven, the things in earth, the things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Wherefore, my brother, beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not also in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Verse 13. Let's read verse 13 one more time. For it is who which worketh in you, both how. So God works in our mind and he works in our spirit. And he's working what? For it is God which works in you both to will and to do of our good pleasure. Oh, he is. He is. It's not about us. It's, not about him. it's about him. It's all about Jesus. Because he has created us for his glory. Therefore, since he has created us for his glory, and he has given us his mind, and he has given us his spirit, then we totally belong to him. And we say, Father, let your will be done. Amen. Use me for As your glory. Yes. Amen? Amen. Amen? Amen. So always stay close to God. Always allow the mind of God that he has placed in you, always allow it to stay connected to God. Because we don't want it. I heard, uh, I know you, Lady Deary used to always say, and I think she still says it. We don't want to go to hell on a oh, technicality. Right. Amen. Oh. Hallelujah. Therefore, what? We must keep our minds yes. pure. Yes. 
we must keep our minds connected to our source. Because what did it say? For well, we have. Thank you, the mind of Christ. 